In this video, you'll learn how to show multiple pieces of content on a single page without ever leaving the page. This allows you to display related pages on one page. Click the gear icon. Page Builder. You should have two or more Page Builder pages already created. Click Add Page. Enter a name for the page. Enter a URL for the page. Click the Layout tab. Drag a layout onto the page. We'll add buttons in the left column and a display window in the right column. Click the Widgets tab. Drag a button widget into the left column. This button will open the first page. Click the gear icon. Edit Properties. Enter a name for the button. In Button Type, select Content. Search for the Page Builder page. You can also click Any Type to open the Content Type filter. Then select Page Builder page. And select the Page Builder page from the list. Click the Advanced tab. In Custom CSS class, enter Span 6. This will make the button take up half of the column. Check Load into Current Page. This will make the Page Builder page we selected load on the current page. In Current Page Load Location class, enter a name. This name is used to locate the display window. The name won't be displayed anywhere on the page. The name should be unique and contain no spaces. Click Save Widget. Add a button widget for each Page Builder page that you want to display on this page. Configure the buttons exactly the same, only changing which Page Builder page the button opens. Now, drag a 12-column layout into the right column. This is where the Page Builder pages will display. Click the gear icon, Edit Properties. In Custom CSS class, enter the location class name you entered for the button widgets. This will tell the page to load the other Page Builder pages in this area. Click Save Widget. Click Publish Changes. Click Go to Page. Click a button to load that page. And that's how you create a multi-page page builder page. Thanks, and have a great day.